So far, we have proven these inclusions and that any inclusion that is not here is because it's just not valid. In this video, we will add two more. We will see that the real line is contained in the arcade topology and in the lower limit topology. So we will prove these inclusions. Like before, we will prove that RK is not contained in the standard topology. The lower limit topology is also not contained in the standard topology. And the same for the countable complement topology. This one is not contained in neither of these two. So let's start. The first one is going to be very simple. The standard topology is a subset of the RK topology. If we go back to the first video where we defined all these topologies, we can see, this was a long time ago, that the RK topology is generated by these bases. So we have here the open sets and then also the open sets minus K. So actually what we have here is that it's being generated by all these sets. And this is just the standard topology. So it's trivial to see the inclusion that we wanted to prove. Now let's see that the K-topology is not a subset of the real line topology. We have kind of done this already when we proved that the countable complement topology was not a subset of the standard topology. For this, what we will do is take zero as my X and take the basis element as the minus one one minus k. Remember that k was the set of the 1 over n with n a natural number. This is obviously a neighborhood of zero in the RK topology. But if there existed a v in the standard topology, so just a usual open interval such that zero was contained in that interval and a subset of B. Then we've done this argument before. B is greater than zero, and so there exists N, a natural number, such that zero is smaller than one over N, smaller than B. But then one over N is in AB, but one over N is not in the set P in RK. So this is an absurd. And this proves that we cannot have this inclusion. Now let's continue working with RK and prove that the countable complement topology is not a subset of RK. To prove this, I'm going to take X to be just some number. I could do it with zero, but zero would be a bit complicated because the K topology is very near zero removing the 1 over n's, so I would have to get very complicated to remove a countable set that is not of the form 1 over n. And so I think it's easier to just get away from the zero and take, for example, x to be 3. If x is 3, I can take the basis element in the countable complement topology to be the real line, except the set of numbers of the form 3 minus 1 over n where n is a natural number. So basically I have the real line. This is 3. And my set B is looking at all the numbers except these ones. So B is going to be... And so immediately we see that any set of the form AB around 3 will not work because it will immediately have infinitely many 1 over n's that are not in B, and any set of the form AB minus K would also not work, because if we took one of those, it would have to be around zero, or it would have to be really big, something like this, to contain the number three, and it would not have only the elements 1 over n that are near 0, but it will have all of the form 3 minus 1 over n. 
So this is why I took this set. So now let's actually go and try and prove this. Let's suppose that there does exist some interval a, b, and then we will do the same for a, b minus k, such that 3 is contained in a, b, and this is a subset of b. But what happens here is that a is smaller than 3, and so there exists a natural number n such that a is smaller than 3 minus 1 over n, smaller than 3. And so 3 minus 1 over n is an element in the set AB, but 3 minus 1 over n is not in B. So we cannot have this inclusion and this is an absurd. But now these are not the only elements that form the basis of the K topology. Now we have to prove what would happen if there existed a, b minus k. Well, but the same would happen because k is only 1 over n for n natural. It's not including any of this form 3 minus 1 over n. So if a, b has this form, then we could actually say that there exists c, d, another interval, contained in a, b, but such that c can be greater than 2. So I'm actually saying, okay, if doesn't matter because we would still have some interval of the form cd contained in the other one. And this would be just a usual interval without the 1 over case. And then we have to use the same that we did here. And we have an absurd. So we have that this inclusion is not possible. So let's prove that the standard topology is a subset of the lower limit, and that is actually very simple. R is a subset of RL, and for this we take x in the real numbers, AB just some basis element in the standard topology that contains x. So if x is in this set, this means that A is smaller than x, then there exists this set, the x closed in x b, this is a set that's in the lower limit topology, it contains x, and it's obviously a subset of a b. And so we have what we wanted to prove. But now let's prove that the reverse inclusion is not valid. And this is very simple. Just take x to be 0 and 0, 1, closing 0, is a neighborhood of 0 in the lower limit topology. But there is no AB contained in 0, 1 that contains 0. So this inclusion is not possible and we have what we want. Now let's continue with the countable complement topology. So the countable complement topology is not contained in RL. This is very easy. We will do the same that we have been doing. Just take x to be 0. p will be the real line minus the 1 over n for n a natural number. We've seen that this is a basis element in the countable complement topology that is also a neighborhood of zero, but if there existed some set of the form a, b, closed in a and open in b, in the lower limit topology, such that zero is in this set and a subset of b, then the argument that we've used many times 0 is smaller than b, and so there exists n a natural number such that 0 is less than 1 over n smaller than b, and so we have 1 over n is an element in the set a, b, but 
it's not an element in B. And so we have an absurd. So we cannot have the inclusion, we have this. So this proves that the countable complement topology is not a subset of any of these two, and also the other inclusion. But what about the k topology with a lower limit topology? We will see that, again, none of these are valid. So let's go ahead and prove that. We will see that rk is not a subset of rl. So this one is, again, very similar to everything we've done. Just take x to be 0 and b, we can take d minus 1, 1 minus k. This is a basis element in the k topology that is also a neighborhood of 0. But then if there existed some set of the form closed in a, open in b, this would be in the lower limit topology, such that 0 is part of this set and a subset of b, then what we would have is that 0 is smaller than b to be a part of the set, and there exists a natural number n, again, the same argument we've used, such that 0 is smaller than 1 over n, smaller than b. And so 1 over n is an element in a, b, but is not an element in b, because b is just removing the 1 over n for any n natural number. And finally, to finish the video, let's prove that the lower limit topology is not contained in the k topology. So similar to what we did with the countable complement topology, we can take x to be 3. And then the set 3, 4 is an element in the lower limit topology that is a neighborhood of 3. So it's easy to see that there are no elements of the form AB that contain 3 and that are subsets of 3, 4 because here we have open in both extremes and here it's closed and it's also trivial that there is no set of the form AB minus K because the K part is not playing any roles because we are away from the zero such that 3 is in AB minus k subset of 3, 4. And for this, you can use the same argument as we did before, that because we are away from 0, there would have to exist a set cd subset of av that is away from 0, so it's c greater than 2, for example, and that it contains 3. That set cannot exist, and so this one neither. With this, we have finished proving all the inclusions and non-inclusions of this diagram, and we will continue with more in the next video. We already have six topologies, there is only one left.